Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. My name is Safwan, and today I'll be showing you how to redirect your users to specific pages after they have signed in or registered. Now, the classic case when you um, you know add in a B2C login or a D login is that it will take you to the uh, to the profile page. So, for example, I sign in and it takes me to a profile page. However, you what you probably want is to take them to the home page after they've signed in. Now, this is very easy. All you need to do is go to your site settings and then, so in port management, go to your site settings and then just search for redirect. And this here, profile redirect enable equals true. Just change this to false. Save that. Go to designer studio, sync page, and then let's sign out and test it out. And bam, there you go. It takes me back to the homepage. Now, if you want to get a bit more fancier, what you might want to do is redirect your user to different pages based on how they've logged in. So in this example, I've got user who can log in using AD or B2C. And based on that, I want them to either go to the AD page or the B2C page. So all you need to do for that is go to your um, design studio and go to your homepage because now you know, basic users after they log in, they would be redirected to the home page instead of the profile page. So go to the home page and click on VS Code Edit. Now, once you're in VS Code, you'll see that every page has its own CSS and JavaScript page. So just go into the JavaScript page and just copy and paste this code in there. And what this is doing is it's saying that if the document refer is um, of B2C login, which means if the if the document, if the user was redirected from the B2C login page, then do something. Or if the user was uh, redirected from Microsoft login page, then do something else, right? So I will uncomment this code. And basically, if it's B2C login, then take them to the B2C page. If it's AD login, then take them to the AD page. Very simple. Now, once this is done, go back, sync your page, and let that finish up. Okay, so now if I sign in using Azure AD, fingers crossed, I should be taken to the home page and I should be redirected to the Azure AD page. So likewise, if I sign in using the B2C, then I'm expecting to be taken to the B2C page. There you go. Now, sometimes what you might see is that when you sign in, um, it takes you for a split second to the home page and then redirects you to the AD page. If you don't want that to happen, copy your code from your JavaScript side, right? And then I've already copied it, so I won't be copying it again. Copy your code from JavaScript and put it inside your HTML just at the very top of the page. So then when the page loads, the first thing it does is it checks the refer and then redirects it. So it doesn't even allow the page to load properly. So now if I sync page again and sign out, go back to sign in. I just want to make sure that this return URL is not added to any of my calls because otherwise it's going to redirect me straight to that URL. Uh, what we want is when the user just signs in without any return URL, it takes into the page we want. So now hopefully we've given it some time. Um, if I log in using Azure AD, I shouldn't see the landing page being load, loaded. I should only just be taken to the AD page without any other page um, being loaded. So that's that. That's pretty easy done. The other thing you want to do uh, sometimes is, let's say you give someone a URL that takes him to a specific page with some ID added to the URL, right? And you want it to open up that detailed page with that ID. Now, most of the cases, those users won't be logged in, so they would be expecting to click on that URL and then be taken to the sign-in process. They might sign in using Azure AD or B2C, whatever, and then they expect to be taken to that link. In which case, what you can do is something like this. Um, I'm not going to show this in this demo, but I've got the code in my GitHub, so I'll put a link in the description below. You can go and get it. So all it will do is if it finds a URL that says, you know, it, it logged in and then the URL looks like your portal query parameter 
some page with the ID, you want it to be transferred, you want it to be transformed into a URL that looks like this, which is your homepage slash my page with the ID um, added to the URL. So in this case, all you want to do is um, get the search parameters and put it inside this URL search param object. This makes it really easy for you to access all the search parameters, all the, all the query parameters. And then you just want to get the return URL and you want to append that with the website URL so that at the end, it looks like the website URL slash um, your return URL, which is the page page URL along with the query parameter. So if you put this in your homepage, then regardless of the user just signing in using B2C or them clicking on a link that looks like this, you know, they'd be taken to the sign in process, they would sign in, and after that they'd be redirected to this exact page instead of just redirecting them to the home page or to the B2C page. Hope that was useful. I would hardly appreciate if you liked and shared the video. Catch you next time.